So, you've uh, signed up to be a roboticist, huh? Well, this is a pretty fun job. It's pretty easy as well. And it will uh, sort of teach you a few things about the medical world as well. First thing you're going to want to do, take this metal, put it in here, take some of this glass, put it in there, then basically fill up this uh, thing with metal. So it says it's full. Next, what you're going to do is you pet Ian right here and then shove him down disposals because he's annoying as fuck and then engage the disposal and he is out of your life forever. And now he's cargo's problem. <clears throat> so, we've got all that. Let's uh, <clears throat> talk about making a couple uh, little bots first, which if you activate this crafting menu go over to robots it will tell you exactly what you need for these little bots we're gonna make a clean bot a floor bot and a meta bot meta bots are real good to make for the station because uh, people are gonna be dying but let's make a meta bot first so what you need a health analyzer a first aid kit a proximity sensor and a right arm luckily you start out with most of the stuff on this table over here so you've got a couple empty first aid kits and a lot of health analyzers and you got these proximity sensors right here. Uh, so yeah. So what you need is a right arm then. Alright, since we're going to be making a few uh, little bots and all of the uh, right arms uh, are needed for each of them, click on cyborg and go ahead and click add to queue. We're going to make three of them. So click add to queue three times, then process the queue, and it will start to make those real quick. <clears throat> and then once we're done with these little bots, we'll get into making actual cyborgs and a uh, Ripley for the miners. All right. All right, so we've got a right arm. Put it on this table with all the other stuff, click T. You see we have MedBot right here. Go ahead and click it. And you can see the little bar above your guy and bam. And you got a little MedBot. Click on it to uh, basically change what uh, goes on with it. And to unlock it, you swipe, you grab your ID, you swipe it in the MedBot. Then you click on them and then you can decide all these little extra things. So, it's a good idea to uh, maybe put your first med bot to stationary mode and then drag it to the med bay lobby so it'll just stay there and it will fix up anybody who has, you know, just mild damage done to them. But most of them, you're going to click patrol station and as soon as you click it, he's going to start to go. So real quick, you want to take your ID and swipe it at him so no one can mess with the controls. Uh, while he's you know out and about so next we will we've got these right arms still made so let's look we can make another mad bot but we're going to make a clean bot so we need a bucket a proximity sensor and a right arm that's real easy but where should we get a bucket from so normally, oh my, there's a dead person here. Oh no, we'll have to deal with that in a little bit. But as you can see, Botany has a lot of buckets and they'd probably be willing to give you one bucket if you uh, want one. Uh, otherwise you can go to cargo and uh, buy a buck, or not buy, but order buckets from cargo but we're going to just uh, get in here so I don't advise doing this on an actual server like I said if you ask botany for a bucket I'm sure they will be more than willing to give you a bucket and maybe I've actually overlooked a bucket in the robotics thing and I'm just silly but yeah go into botany here grab this bucket that's all we needed and uh, go back into your uh, lab, throw this bucket on the table, and then we got a clean bot. 
which will basically do exactly what it says it'll do it cleans swipe your ID in it set it to patrol the station you can choose whether it cleans blood or not swipe your ID back in it the reason you might not want it to clean blood is because security might need it for evidence but that's a clean bot made so the last one we're gonna do is a tile bot so I'll show you what this does uh, first off we need an empty mechanics toolbox for it floor tiles a proximity sensor and again a right arm so we're going to just take our own floor tiles you can make floor tiles out of sheets of metal but taking our own floor tiles will show you what this little bot does actually so empty all this out throw the toolbox on the table then you can make a floor bot but he's got a lot of options once you swipe your card in him so we're going to do that swipe the card He's got a lot of things you can do. Add tiles to new hole plating. You don't really want that on or else he's going to go into maintenance and start fucking laying tiles down everywhere. Replace floor tiles. Yes. Finds tiles. Yeah, he can find tiles. And then he can make pieces of metal into tiles when he's empty. He might as well. Because if he's able to find metal, and as you can see, he's already started, he will just repair floor tiles is basically all he does then you can um, make him repair damaged tiles go ahead and turn that on and turn him to patrol the station swipe your card real quick and off he goes so that's three of the useful little bots for the other little bots well first of all the ED209 isn't really a little bot but the sec bot you need stuff from security, so you'll have to ask SEC to bring you a helmet and a stun baton if they want more beep skis going around. The ED-209 is uh, quite a powerhouse, and uh, it can be a bad idea to make these, especially if uh, the AI ends up being a little less than friendly. But, you know, you can never tell. But these are super-powered uh, sec bots, basically. And something I didn't show you real quick. Let's grab this floor bot before he goes off forever. Uh, he looks like he's going to repair that tile, even though that isn't um, a tile that he should be even worrying about. Maybe he is gonna go into maintenance. He is, isn't he? Huh. He shouldn't be doing this. Because if I add tiles to new hole plating, that's what I feel. Oh well, um, we'll not, we'll, we won't worry about it. So let's uh, t disable his patrol mode real quick. This is something that for some reason it's not even showing up here, but there's a little button up here that's hidden. I'm going to have to use a different bot. Hold on. I don't know why he's repairing. Uh... Oh no, I don't have access. In he... Okay, here we go. <laughs> he, he almost trapped me. Let's see if I can't find... Alright, this clean bot. Come here. Come here, you little shit. This can be a problem if you uh, have to, you know, change something. Oh my gosh. Let's... You unlock. Okay, I unlocked him. Now click him, and then we're going to turn him off real quick. Alright. So... Can you not even do that with this? Okay, so it doesn't even look like you can do it with clean bots. But I'm pretty sure you can do it with the med bots and the sec bots. There will be an option at the top that will say, let's, un oh, we can't even mess with Beepski. There will be an option that says, uh, it's something like harm prevention or whatever, and it'll be enabled by default. You want to leave that enabled unless, you know, you're a traitor, and then your robots will go around trying to kill everybody if you disable it. That's all I wanted to teach you. So next, let's talk about uh, making an actual cyborg. So what you're going to want is every uh, part of this cyborg, which is already in that menu that was, I'll show on this one. 
it's just in cyborg and you can click add all parts to queue and you can do that that way and that will make all the parts needed to make a cyborg and while that's getting made let's deal with this dead guy over here he's gonna be a perfect experiment for us I'm gonna click and drag him and then we're gonna take off all of his uh, clothes and this is just after I got done recording the basics and I just realized I did not show how to do this so if you've ever wondered how to disrobe someone that is how you click and drag him and you can take them off and you can also if you have clothing items in your active hand you can put it on them so we're gonna take him we're going to say this man needs a new right arm so let's put him up here first let's uh he's dead which is fine so we're going to grab this be on help intent click the right arm down here or whichever arm this person seems to be missing first we're going to amputate this so we have prepared to amputate it then you click him again and it will begin to cut through his shoulder so once that's done his arm will appear in your hand you can just throw it throw it away no one needs arms so as you can see he is now missing his right arm so click and drag him back onto the table what you want Let's see has it printed it yet no we'll grab a little sheet of metal and so if he's missing his right arm you want to build a right arm this is a this is applicable to all the limbs you can make prosthetic legs and arms so if somebody is missing a limb and they come to you requesting it this is basically how you do it so you might need to amputate a remaining arm like if they're just missing their hand you're gonna have to amputate the whole arm so now that that arm is out of the way all you have to do is once again have the the correct arm selected in this and then click on the person with the uh, arm or leg and as you can see it has now attached his arm and sometimes you will need to repair th repair arms for people all you got to do use a welding tool turn it on and it will say right here nothing to fix because it's perfectly fine that's how you repair a uh, person's prosthetics so that's how you do uh, prosthetics now this person uh, might actually be a bad person and maybe you have been ordered or perhaps this person has requested to become a cyborg well let's talk about that now <laughs> so this is almost done making everything but let's drag this endoskeleton skeleton over here then pick up the torso first so if I try and click this with the torso it'll t tell me what I need to do to it first so we need to put wires in this torso grab the wires click it it's got some wires try and click it again oh we need to attach a power cell first well there's power cells over here click it click the power cell or the torso and then it can attach now pick up the limbs the limbs go on really easy just keep doing this and the head is the only other thing that needs anything extra so the head you need to attach a flash first which are right here you don't need one flash you actually need two so grab two flashes stick them in the head and then you've got a um, robot that is ready for a brain another thing to mention this little po this little square here is a positronic brain which if there's a dead person in your game if you activate it it will look for a dead person's soul basically and then a player can choose to play as this and you can also once it, a player is in it it will change and you will be they will be able to talk to you if you have the t speaker toggled on and then you can just pop it right into a cyborg and they can be that cyborg let's talk about taking this uh, oh I've thrown up because his body stinks talk about taking this brain out of this person so you need a scalpel first 
select the head, click the head, then what you want to click is organ manipulation. Click OK. Then click them with the scalpel again. Alright, that's done. Now what you need is the hemostat. Pick it up, click on them. It'll, you clamp the bleeders and then you want to get the retractor. Pick it up, click him. Alright, now take this saw, click him. And then there's only a few more things. And then click him with the retractor again. Then you reach your hand in there. Oh, nope. Oops, you grab the hemostat and you click him. Remove which organ? Brain. So now we will begin taking his brain out. Put it, the hemostat down, you got a brain, and you will see these things right here. Man machine interface, you want to pick one up, and you can stick it in there. And then it will look like that, and then all you have to do is put it in the cyborg, which we can't, because this person has logged out basically or they have they have refused to uh come back as a cyborg basically so it'll give you that message but when you successfully do it it, it will say uh, i forget exactly what the phrase is but it you'll hear the robot say i'm alive or whatever and then they can choose what um they want to be and since there's no actual players here, I can't really show you how to maintain cyborgs, but it's pretty self-explanatory. This is another job where you're probably going to want to have the wiki open, just to, uh, especially for this next part. So, click this, return. We're going to do one last thing. I'm going to teach you how to build a Ripley. See the Ripley right here? Add all parts to queue, process the queue. So, here's something that you need to do this is something you should probably do first thing when you start your shift as a roboticist go all the way over here go to cargo go to here go to science and you want this circuit crate Ripley I'm building a Ripley and now we just gotta wait for our imaginary cargo tech to deliver that our imaginary uh, cargo tech has delivered our Ripley crate. So one good good thing to do is just open it here. Take the circuit boards out of it. You don't really need the book, but it will, uh, yeah, it's completely blank because I don't have it set up. But leave the crate here so they can send it back. All you need is those two circuit boards. So go back to our um, office slash lab thing and all these parts are already made something else we need to make is let me see where is it is it exosuit equipment I believe so we need a clamp and a drill so add that to Q and add that to the Q and process that so what we want to do first is basically we just attach everything to the chassis so we're going to pull the chassis and uh, just click pick up and attach all of them so that's all that and then we've got the drill and the uh, clamp there now what we need is a wrench so you click them with a wrench connect the Ripley chassis hydraulic systems then you take a screwdriver, you activate him, then you grab some wire, got some wire in there then, cable coil rather than take the wire cutters to trim them up right, then you take the central control model, put it in, take a screwdriver to uh, secure it, and you take the peripherals control module, stick that in, same deal, screwdriver. And then you take some uh, metal, put that on it, wrench it and welding tool it, 
And another thing you're going to want is this welding helmet over here. Go on your head. And you can flip it up with this button right there. So, now, did I wrench it? Yeah, I wrenched it. Welding tool. You weld it. Now, you add this plasteel here. You install that. Wrench and welding tool. Once again, wrench, welding tool. And then you add these. And it is complete. Now, what you do, drag yourself into it. And there you go, you are in the exosuit. And up here you can see a little exosuit um, tab. And here is where they charge. You can just set it up right here to charge it. And to exit, you eject. And then you deliver that to the uh, cargo bay so the miners can use it. But um, you sh the miners should automatically have access to this thing. And that is uh, the basics of robotics. There are some little extra things I didn't mention, like um, built. I mean, there's a lot of uh, different exosuits that you can build, but a lot of them need special things that you may or may not have access to. But, like I've always said, use the wiki, and that will explain things that I have not. And I didn't go over maintenance of, like, damaged cyborgs. Usually you have to uh, use a welding tool on them and open up their, like, panels with your card and whatnot. But, yeah, that's the basics of robotics. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. See ya!